Hello and welcome to Ada Pulse, the Catalyst-funded news channel that's keeping you up to date with all the news, but mainly emerging projects that are in and around the Cardano ecosystem. Like today, we're discussing NuNet. So here we go. NuNet is building a global economy of decentralized computing. And this is by one of our technical writers, Liberline. I have sort of summarized little parts of it. I don't know how much you guys like these long videos. But today, we are going to be discussing what is NuNet, their roadmap, tokenomics so expect a pie chart and uh, you've got to stay to the end and we'll show you where to find info on the team so do remember to click the like button hit subscribe and hit the bell button for the notifications and i'm josh from atm state for your presenter for Ada pulse for today let's just talk new net shall we So obviously, let's start with what NuNet is. And NuNet is a computer network made up of different providers that will allow people to access storage space through partnerships with projects in the Web3 and AI markets. So this means that people can share their computing resources. So that's like laptops, mobile phones, and IoT devices, that's Internet of Things devices, to help run computational processes that need them. So NuNet connects people who need computing resources with those who have, you know, the resources to spare, essentially. The platform will also optimize the use of AI processes and interfaces and, and data within the network. So this will minimize the sort of global computing costs and enable new business processes for the data economy and the, the Internet of Things. So when we talk about the Internet of Things, we mean things like your your light switch that you're controlling with your phone or your toaster that's connected to the internet, that sort of thing. Now, NuNet will enable people to publish their computing capabilities for like the processes that need them. And if you check this tweet here, the platform will be you know, open source, so that means anyone can use it. I think the team has identified areas for improvement to ensure the security of the platform. And they, they decided to launch public alpha on the Cardano testnet in April 23. NuNet has three types of network participants. You have the providers of data, computing and AI services the consumers of data and computing, and network operations agents. Now, network operation agents ensure that the correct services are provided and that compensation is given to the service providers. Now, NuNet is designed to handle simple, standalone computational processes or more complex processes that are participants in different decentralized networks. Now, the, that last one is called a market meta economy or MME, which will be supported by network operations agents using a native token and a governance paradigm that establishes sort of collaborations between humans and AI agents in an open, globally connected infrastructure. The roadmap. Now, the NuNet platform will operate in two like areas that are, that are evolving. So you have your Web3 applications. So that's basically your blockchain stuff. And then you have your Industry 4.0 applications. So that's all your, your smart devices that are connected to the internet and react to the real world, like your toaster telling you your bread's too hot over the internet, for example. So this is their Web3 roadmap. Now, NuNet is focused on Web3 applications and is developing a lightweight, you know, open source platform that enables the integration of distributed computing technologies, uh, like CPU, GPU, storage, data, but in a decentralized and scalable network, essentially allowing anyone to contribute to the network and be rewarded through the blockchain technology. Now, here, I just want to show you the Industry 4.0 roadmap. So I'm not, I'm not really going to go through this, but Industry 4.0, you know, is transforming um, the way companies make, improve and distribute their products. Manufacturers are incorporating new technologies like the Internet of Things that, um, that I've been talking about, cloud computing and analytics and AI and machine learning all into their sort of manufacturing facilities and operations. The tokenomics. So NuNet token or NTX is the platform's native utility token. Now, the NTX token provides access to computing resources and services 
through the NuNet platform and ultimately settles transactions between all components of a computing workflow that's provided through NuNet. Now, it's important to distinguish the two aspects of the NTX tokenomics, and that's the external tokenomics and the network tokenomics. So while the main function of the NTX token is to power and facilitate transactions between the constituents of the network, the NTX token also has an external aspect that exposes it to the cryptocurrency market so, uh, and allows users to you know, kind of purchase the token, whether they're going to use it now or later down the line on the platform. As always with tokenomics, you've got to have a pie chart. So I just want to have this up while I, while I discuss uh, the token itself. Because as I said, the ticker is NTX. The total supply um, is 1 billion. You have the tokens distributed at launch was 300 million NTX. The NTX tokens that were offered to the community in the supporters round was 100 million. And their source code and audit report is available. Now, NTX was designed to be a multi-strand utility token, like from the get-go. So at the token generation event, NuNet minted 1 billion NTX tokens, but on two blockchains. So essentially, 63% um, went on Ethereum, and that left the remaining roughly 37% went on um, Cardano or ADA. To keep the total supply of tokens constant at all times, you know, at 1 billion, NTX, you know, ETH and NTX ADA will be convertible at a ratio of like one to one. So it allows all holders just to choose which blockchain they want to use. Similar to basically what Singularity Net did with the Ajax token. Now, to stop you all getting scammed, because if this is something you want to buy, I'll include a link to the policy ID below and I would make and double check that yourself. Uh, do your own research and all that. And if you do want to get, if you want to buy it on Ethereum, you can go to Uniswap, Singularity DAO, or MEXC. And if you want to buy it on Cardano, I think the only option is MinSwap. Now, last month, which is, well, March 22, NuNet delivered its first financial report to its community. And uh, I'll include a link to the, in the description below. But it's basically outlining NuNet's key achievements in 2022. Uh, development roadmap update and uh, yeah like I said it's new net financial report 2022 and outlook for 2023. Now in the past two months new net run a second earn drop campaign to support staking and decentralization on the Cardano network and it involved rewarding users for holding NTX on a Cardano wallet and delegating to selected unique stake pool operators. The team NuNet is a spin-off of the Singularity Net global AI marketplace, which has been operating since 2017. Now, NuNet has been incubated through the Singularity Net XLab Accelerator program since like 2018. Technology development and early use cases of the NuNet platform will be geared toward, but probably not limited to, you know, the computing infrastructure of Singularity Net's decentralized AI agents. Now, the members of the team don't, seem to be published on the website but we found you know all their information on linkedin for here for you to have a look and uh, i'll include a link to it in the description below so that brings us to the end of the article for today do remember to click the like button hit subscribe and hit the bell button and that's it i'm josh from atm stakeball your presenter for the polls for today and i'll see you next time thank you